I already think of myself as an open scholar, and then social media is a way to communicate that. Well, scholarly practice is a word that's usually tied to research and publication, so um, that doesn't have to be all that it is, though. You can also do scholarly practice in more informal ways, so you can do it through blogs, you can do it through social media posts, you can do it through conversations that you have on social media. In Arts One, students have their own blogs. It's a year-long course, so they use the blog for the whole year and they are meant to be having discussions, reflections on the books that we're reading on the blogs. All of the classes in this Team Talk course, their blogs get syndicated into a big site for all of Arts One. So that, that way the students are able to not only read each other's blogs from within their small class, but also the blogs of students within the, the rest of the Arts One course. Students will learn a lot, not just from what they hear from other people, but from what they tell to other people. One of the things I love about blog posts is that it's this medium that, depending on how you assign it, um, can open students up to this sort of feeling comfortable about really saying what they think about a particular text where it feels almost more intimate. And I find that they get such interesting ideas that way um, that they might not otherwise get if they were forcing it into an essay format. Recognition of how people might approach the same thing differently I think is a crucial life skill. Just thinking about how not being in your bubble and believing that because it seems this way to you that that just is how it is, right? I think that's a really eye-opening and important um, important thing to do, an important lesson to learn. So when we do get negative comments on our YouTube videos um, for this, this class that I teach, I do try to, to act as an educator. It can be a, an opportunity for acting as an educator in a wider sphere than just your class. A lot of what students and, and the rest of us are, are doing online and social media is interacting with people we don't know. How do we figure out the, the best ways to have those respectful conversations and learn from each other without turning each other off? It's very hard to do sometimes in the digital medium. And I think, you know, we can, we can start practicing those things. What I am most interested in, what I see in other people as well, is student participation in open education. So students actually not just professors creating educational resources that then they share, but also student work becoming um, something that is, is adding, as David Wiley puts it, adding value to the world. There's so much work out there that can be used and reused. How do you find out about it? Social media is, is critical in, in open education. It is, it is one of the many ways that we communicate, and it's one of the ways we communicate across many boundaries, certainly not all, because you have to be on the internet and you have to be on social media, but it's wider than you might otherwise get.